That's why I live in Humboldt. Humboldt, located along the Redwood Coast in Northern California, is one of the most beautiful regions in the West. From our giant redwoods, our wide open beaches, our state and national parks, and our world class fishery. So hang with me, and I'll show you why my family and I live in Humboldt. Man, love it here. silent out here we're headed out to headwater forest reserve it's out in elk river I'm gonna go walk the old lumber milling ghost community of falk should be a cool little walk i'll go load up my partner yep yep Headwaters Forest Reserve, about nine miles southeast of Eureka out in Elk River. Gonna go check out the old abandoned lumber milling town of Falk and walk around a little bit, maybe check out Zane's Bridge out on the way. I got my partner with me. <laughs> He's ready, I'm ready. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you out there. two covered wooden bridges out in Elk River. The other one's the Berta Bridge. Yeah, I think it was built in 1935 or 6. There might be a sign on there. And I'm going to park real quick. Actually, we'll get parked on the other side. Do your thing. Zane's Bridge, there's one of two. There's, well, you can't see it from here. It's the Birded Bridge and the Zane's Bridge. They're both wooden crossings and they were built, I think, in the 30s, five or 36. The Birded Bridge has a little marker on it. These bridges are, there's only one way in and one way out of the Birda community. This is the Elk River down in here. Every year, without fail, it seems, the Elk River will uh, flood its banks, and uh, especially down a Berta Road. It gets to flowing too, and sometimes you just can't get out of there, and it goes right over the, the uh, road. You want to walk yourself, bud? Hey. Just wanders off like, you know, going in the place. You get something to sniff out. Yeah.
going, bud? You happy, boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, let's go. Depending upon how low the pressure ceiling is, sound really travels in that. You can hear the south jetty and the north jetty fog horns. It travels right up this valley. It's right up over, well, we, that's where we just came, but we're only a few miles inland, actually, maybe four or five, I, I'm guessing. Never too far from the ocean or the forest. <laughs> that's why we live here. Come on, bud. Ready to go? Keep going. Okay, keep going here. That's Wrigley Road. This, the Elk River is uh, come well past over this road here too. Again, there's only one way in and one way out on Elk River. So when Ma Nature starts storming, the Elk River floods, you really, it's not a lot you can do about it, but wait it out. Coming up to the little parking area, uh, area right here. Elk River just dead ends. Look at that. It's such a cool little spot here. Okay, I'm going to find somewhere to park. Let this guy out and do his thing. Get our redwood hike on. It is quiet, except for a crow over there. That's why I love the woods. Peaceful, quiet. Let you know where you are in the world. Yeah, pretty cool. You already? Okay, well, we knew that was coming, huh, buddy? Pretty nice parking lot, it's just right at the end. You just follow Elk River Road all the way out to the end when you get to the Wiggly Road. Turn off, hang your right, head in right into this parking lot. I think I'm going to bring Brody with me. I'm just scared of bears. Man, when it comes popping out on a trail, we got problems. We meaning Brody, because I can outrun him. I can't outrun no bear. Huh, buddy? So we're not going to do that. We're going to head out to Falk. Let's see. That's where we're at. Falk runs right on down through here. I don't think it's too far in. Maybe a mile or something. It's shut down around the 30s. Oh, right here, right. This is where we're going to head. 1937. So 
old lumber milling community. I guess there's abandoned buildings out there. I haven't walked all the way out to it, so I'm gonna do it today. You ready, buddy, or what? What are we doing? Come on. Still squawking. All right, we're gonna go get our redwood hiking on here. Get in, get out, put my meter reading pace on. old axes and resurrect them and put them back into service. Hot rod to handles. owls man we had a flock of them behind our house one winter and screeching up a storm especially at night I mean it's cool but you know gotta go to work in the morning so they wound up taking off put the old earplugs in here right, I'm gonna keep going see if I can find the other buildings this must have been these are pictures of the old mill rail station out here trains don't run up to Eureka you can see the track so you go walk the Bayfront Harbor and up along 101, you can see them go all the way out to Arcata. Of course, they've been out of service for years, but still see the remnants. Gonna walk down to the water. Barely running, but it is running. Look how clear that water is. I don't know. Oh, there's a little minnow in there. Oop, we darted off. We're dammed up. Some cable in there. Maybe an old bridge came across here. You can see it in there though. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because of the glare. Right, and get back up to the trail and keep her going, eh? By the looks of this sign, if we're sitting right here, 
that means that building's small. It's up in there somewhere. Wow. This sign flips up. You can see what it is now. Taking over. There's a little bit of a clearing in there, huh? See if I can maybe venture in just a little bit. I can see a grade right there. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna walk up to that. It looks like it might be a road. Oh, see it comes right through here, right up. Well, that's a steep road, ain't it? It goes right up the hill. Wow, trip out, Falk, huh? Be cool to come out and spend a little time and walk this trail. Okay, I'll start heading back on the trail and see if I can't find those <coughs> foundations that those nice people told me about. Oh, I'm gonna get back down the trail where I came from. Okay, get back down to the trail here. It is just so quiet here. I love it. You can hear the wind kind of going through the trees. The birds talking to each other. Some dork talking to a GoPro. I didn't notice this tree when I came in. Maybe I did, I don't know. That is a trip. Goes up, looks like it broke off, shot over. And kept. It's a trip. Look at that. Goes up, looks like it might have broke, shot over. And then growing straight back up. Look at that, there's another one over there. They just twist up and... There. Grow up and compete for the sun. Building over there. Wow, it is beautiful here. A lot of deadfalls in there. Stumps everywhere, riddling all up and down this trail. It's just a reminder of what went down here. Caretaking through town. Look at this. Oh, they re they rebuilt it. This building's a like a reconstruction. That was the generator. Look at this. That is an old sink. Cracked. Here's the water pipes. See the steps. Look at that. You can see more of the steps right there. Here's the foundation those folks were talking about. Looks like it anyway, or it's a walkway. Get the one. Oh, it looks like it's just a, a walkway. Cool. History. I'm just reminding the, remembering the folks that came before us, lived their lives here. About modern conveniences, really. Imagine taking a wagon in through here. 
I mean, this place shut down in the 30s. I mean, they certainly had cars by then, but got to imagine. We're deep in here. We're, you know, from Eureka, I think it's eight, nine miles, something like that. Getting back up towards the parking lot. I was going to take the south trail all the way around, but I decided to cut back. Quite a few folks here now. Wow. What a beautiful walk. I love this trail. I've walked it a couple times. I've never gone all the way back there, but man, Headwaters Forest Reserve. What a nice, easy walk. Bike it, hike it. I may bring my skateboard out next time. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna go check on my partner, see how he's doing. Get him a biscuit. This place is awesome. Hey, bud. You doing, buddy? You ready to go home? <laughs> All right, let's head out. Well, good night. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'm out of Gray Falls. Wow. It's beautiful out here. I'll see you on the next one.